G'day, g'day. Welcome to the Simple Joys. Guess what I got for you today? A big, fat, ugly toad. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. I think it's a cane toad. He is pretty big for a cane toad. Um, I've got him in a shoebox at the moment. I'm just going to let it go. Normally, if I'm sure they're cane toads, they're disposed of because cane toads are just an introduced pest and they're not real good to native wildlife. But this one, I'm not 100% sure what he is and he's just so big and fat that I sort of figure he's made it this long. He deserves just to get let go. He was in the garden. Ready? Let's have a look at him. Oh my God. Ribbit. Hang on. Rob, Rob. He is huge. With can <laughs> I was expecting to jump. <laughs> With cane toads, they've got poison glands. So they are poisonous. They're no good if your dogs get hold of them. If they lick them or if they get in the dog's water, they can cause frothing in the mouth and hallucin hallucin hallucinations. <laughs> wow, crazy tripping dogs on LSD cane poison. We've seen a dog trip once. We on have a seen a dog tripping on cane toad poison. It's not very good. It can kill them. Yeah. So you have to be careful um, with your animals. They like to get into the cat food too. If you leave your cat food out on the veranda, out on the porch, they'll get into that and eat the dry cat food. They can't climb like frogs and they can't jump very high. They're pretty um, useless really. <laughs> That's him next to my hand. Oh. oh, look at those back legs. They're good for swimming too. They are amphibious, so they can swim good. I'm pretty sure they lay their eggs in the water. Oh, he's trying to make a noise. Look at. Just careful. Look at his throat where he's making noise. Yeah. Make sure I wash my hands really well after I let him go. Because I have been touching him. He's actually trying to make a noise. He's puffed himself up a bit here. Careful. Oh, mammy, how I love you, how I love you, mammy. <laughs> rock, rock, rock. Well, since my baby left me, I found a new place to croak. It's down at the end of Lonely Street. I a big old pond, you'll be a, you'll be a so lonely baby, you'll be a so lonely. <laughs> He's pretty big, eh? Look at that. He's fat. Oh, ready? Okay. Not towards me. As I mentioned earlier, I am going to wash my hands really well as soon as I put him down. I'm going to go and wash them with soap and scrub them, make sure I get any traces of him off because they do have bits of poison on them. And I advise not to pick them up. You shouldn't really do what I've been doing. Um, you're best just to leave them alone. But I wanted to show you a big fat toad. <laughs> See ya. Toads are poisonous, so be very careful. Make sure if you touch them with your bare hands, you at least wash your hands really good, or better even use gloves or something like that. Okay, thanks everyone. Remember, take time for the simple joys. Rock, rock. <laughs>